today I get a chance to interview David Silverman, director of the Simpsons movie and countless episodes of the TV series. He animated the original Tracy Ullman shorts, directed the first feature-length episode of the show to air, and has been instrumental in designing the look and feel of the Simpsons show as we know it. He's easily one of the most influential people ever in the world of TV and animation. We're at his house, we're talking to him, check out the interview. All right, so hello, my name's Ted, and uh, I'm interviewing David Silverman. He's uh, the director of The Simpsons Movie. He's directed countless episodes. Uh, here he is, David. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Hello, YouTube and world. Uh, so how, how are you doing today? Very, very well. It's good to see you, Ted. You're looking fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. It's a nice color on you. Um, but yes, I, I, try to, I try to keep my skin in uh, optimal very condition. Nice, very nice. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, no, you can touch. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, freaky. Uh, okay. Um, so you, you've directed so many episodes. You directed the movie. Yes. Um, I'm curious what's involved in directing uh, a cartoon episode because you don't have actors. You're not like do this, do that. I mean, you uh, no, you have no, no. cartoons and so many elements. Right. Well, I was going to ask you because you're nearly a cartoon. So maybe right. you could tell as, me as a puppet sort right. of. Right. Maybe you could tell me a few things about what I'm supposed to do because I'm kind of lacking in. Uh oh. In the whole. Directing thing, but uh, but I will tell you this: um, you, you don't tell the cartoons what to do because they, they don't really. You can talk to the cartoons, but they don't really react that much. So it's better to talk to the guys that draw them. They cartoons. don't react at all. No, you're just like no. staring at a paper, like uh, do something. If I had a cartoon handy, I'd show you. But uh, right. it's not, but um, well, uh, but well, for example, no, oh, oh wait, example. that's a, okay. I was um, just an Emmy over there. Yeah. Well, take this Emmy for instance. Okay. You can talk to it. <clears throat> Okay, move over there. And now he did it, though, so it worked. Well, <clears throat> that's not a good example. But what I'm trying to get at is you talk to the animators, and you explain to them what you want Homer to do, or Bart to do, or even Lisa to do, and sometimes what you want March to do. Okay. And they draw it, and they set it up, and you say, well, I'll have the shot like this, and uh, um, Bart's clothes should look like so, and basically you make all the decisions about what the characters should look like and where they should be standing and what sort of emotion they should have when they're saying their lines. Yeah. <coughs> so I love your place. You've got all kinds of Simpsons wackiness all over the place. Yeah, um, which is kind of strange. You know, you'd think I'd know. Like, why am I advertising to myself? Right. It's like, it's like you already work there. Yeah. How much more do you need? It? But, but friends come in, they say, yeah, we know you work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, I, I think it's fantastic. I, I mean, so here's him with the chocolate bunnies. Yes. That's a classic scene. I mean, everybody knows that. Yes, that was one of my favorite bits. With that music. Dun, 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 yeah, really, really funny, right. funny music. Uh, and then he goes to that window and there's chocolate. He's all excited by the chocolate at the window. Because it's half price. Even though everything is chocolate. Well, that's, <laughs> that's such a great scene. Better half price, even though it's all free. Right, wow, chocolate. That's what he thinks. Uh, this was a piece of animation I did of Homer skipping, and it's one of my favorite uh, uh, scenes. And so, uh, for and so you drew this then? Yeah, for a while, uh, it was sort of a nice thing. In my contract, I was given like 10 cells every season. So I specifically requested this one because it was something from something that I drew, and I was happy to get it. And also, this too uh, is another skipping oh, scene. Oh, they. Um... Yeah, this is from uh, from uh, si the, the second Sideshow Bob episode where he falls in love with uh, uh, Aunt Selma, and uh, oh, that was a great episode. No, another skipping that. scene, very similar to that skip skipping scene. In fact, I think I use the same <laughs> approach to the animation as I did with Homer with this one. Well, these are both actual production cells from the, from the series back uh, before two thousand two when we went switched over to computer painting. But uh, so for the first. Uh, 13 seasons, they were all uh, hand-painted. How do you like the show now that it's computer? Do, do well, you think it, it, it's improving as a result in terms of your from, ability from, to think yes. and just relax and write and not have to worry about the animation? Yes, we, we can do so much more visually with it in the computer. People, yes, I, we miss the old hand-drawn and all that kind of stuff, but right. you know what? It's much, we have much more creative uh, freedom in what we can do visually, not only in the way we can move the camera and the way we can basically have a lot more, stack a lot more... Uh, 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 levels of characters and so forth, but just the, the uh, ability to, to have so much more of a color palette, a brighter color palette, and a more uh, uh, latitude in what we can do with the backgrounds in terms of a, a mood and atmosphere. Uh, because we, in this version, we had a much more limited color palette of how many colors we could use. Right, so every scene has to be really thought out before you animate it, I'm yes, assuming. Yes, exactly. 
So, so um, what, what's your response? To, some people d complain of, of a decline in the quality of The Simpsons over the years. Well, what's, what's your opinion on that? Did, My opinion on that, I think the people who say that, I think there's a decline in them. I think, oh, ouch. I think that they just declined over the years. And I think, you know, you really right. should get over that. Just, just go out, you know, get some exercise, read some more books, and you'll feel better. I do, I do think it's necessary to get outside and, and have fresh air once in a while. Yes, yes. Especially being in a drawer all day. I'm like, exactly. It, 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 that's what, this is what happens to you when you don't get out enough. you got to get out so. you got dust on you. I, I know. Is there dust on me? Yes. I, 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 I want to thank my guest, um, David Silverman. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with uh, me. Well, certainly. Um, certainly. And I just want you all to know that uh, he's an actual puppet. He doesn't, uh, there's nobody working him. So it's it's a kind of a freaky thing. It's really weird. I'm yeah. actually real. Yeah. Uh, if you look, there's just there's no arm even. No, no. It's just I actually walked in. It's walked in or floated in. It's kind of hard. the medical community needs to do some research yes, to figure yes. out what's going on. That's where we're going next. We're going to see. We're actually night. about to do that right now to figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah, should we go? So well, let's let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. figure let's that out. Theaters. All right. All right, guys. All right, bye, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you later. All right, see. You. I want to look at this military.